Hi everyone. So today I'm just gonna show you how I do my envelopes. Uh, I mostly like to buy envelopes that are already done, to be honest. I think it's worth the money. Um, but sometimes I, I do my own envelopes and mostly it's um, the paper I use for that is just papers from an old atlas. Um, in that case, we're going to use uh, a part of uh, Greece um, to make an envelope. Uh, and, you know, you can buy tools. It's different ones that you can buy online or in the scrapbooking stores. And you can just normally just use that tool up on the, on the page or the paper you're going to use for making an envelope and cut it around and just, and just fix it. But to be honest, I have a couple of these tools. But... I prefer just doing them my own way. Uh, I'm not saying they are nicer or better, but it's the way I like it. So what I normally do, is just get a paper and I just fold the side just like this, like one centimeter and a half, more or less, in both sides. And then, like this, more or less. Normally, I just use my cutting board to do that. And there's the measure in there, and I can look better. But I don't have it here right now, so I have to do it like that. So, more or less, it's going to be like this. And now, I'm just going to cut... Just where I fold it, so in here. So this part is gonna be like this, but that other part I'm gonna I'm just gonna cut it, and I'm cut it a bit like a circle on the side. So first I cut like this. And then just a bit like that. Not a lot, but just a bit. Really good. So then this looks like that. So I'll just get always a piece of paper to be able to glue very well without getting my table dirty. As for glue, you know, it's a lot of different glues that you can buy in places and they are a lot cheaper than this one, but Preet is my absolutely favorite one. Uh, sometimes you guys ask me if I, all the pictures I, I put in my, in my envelopes, if they just fell during the, during the trip to their places, but it doesn't. I mean, always I use Preet, everything gets stuck very, very well. And yeah, it looks like I'm making a lot of um, advisement for Preet, but no, they don't pay me or anything, but for real, I, I love Preet. I think it's very, very good. So I just do like this on the very border. And then just stacked in here. Now, the only thing we have to do is to cut this and again, I like to make it a bit like a circle. So, there you go. So now we have an envelope. And then I like to decorate the envelopes, as you know. Um, so today I'm just going to decorate it with this label. Again, I like everything to be very well glued. So I take a piece of paper, not to dirty anything, and be able to add the glue very on the edge of the label. So I'm just going to go like this. 
And then I'm just gonna put a bunny on the side. Actually, it's a harem. Uh, you guys normally ask me where I get these stickers. It's actually not a sticker, it's just a paper. Uh, this picture comes from a Swedish fauna book from the 60s that I got on a local uh, thrift store. Um, of course, I don't cut the book. I, I could never do that. I feel, you know, you can really cut a vintage book. It just, it, it wouldn't feel okay. So what I do, I take uh, quality copies. Uh, so then I can reuse the same picture again and again without damaging the book. So there you go. And then probably I will just add the stamps in here and then if it's uh, enough space after getting the postal stamps I'll probably add some rubber stamp in here but since this is quite a lot of pattern already it would not look good just to stamp the, the stamp directly on the map so what I will do I will just get one of these um, papers the stick paper that you can buy probably in a library or in a paper store or in a scrapbooking store and I will just stamp the rubber stamp in that sticky paper and I will just cut it and put it in the envelope just from the sticky paper. So, there you go. Hope you like it. Bye!